boys and girls. Today I'm going to be reading Delilah's Delightful Dream by Ruth Lerner Fertile, illustrated by Deborah Colvin Bordeaux. In this story, Delilah, the demanding duck, wants her alphabet friends to help clean up a messy, vacant lot, but her bossy demands get her nowhere. When Delilah learns to ask for help in a friendly way, everyone pitches in, and together they turn a disgraceful, disgusting duck into a delightfully beautiful park. So let's turn the page and we'll see how the story starts and ends. Delilah the Demanding Duck was president of the Town Improvement Council. Every day she walked up and down the streets looking for ways to make alphabet corners a more beautiful place. One morning as Delilah was making her daily inspection tour, <clears throat> She saw a vacant lot filled with piles and piles of junk. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, cried Delilah. Just look at that dump. As Delilah went to inspect the lot, she tripped and fell. Flop! Her pencils and pads went flying, and a lampshade landed right on her head. Yikes, cried Delilah. Just look at this place. It's dirty, dangerous and disgusting. It's a nightmare. Somebody must do something about this. Delilah got up, ran to a house across the street, and knocked on the door. Sylvester, the stubborn squirrel, opened it. Hey, Sylvester, demanded Delilah, get rid of all that disgusting junk across the street. It looks disgraceful. We have to do something. It's not my mess. I don't have to do anything if I don't want to said Sylvester. Can you say that when it's something that you didn't do? Delilah went next door. Justin the joking jackal and Tina the truthful tiger were doing the dishes. Look at that mess across the street, Delilah shouted. You should be cleaning that instead of those dirty dishes. Well, well, aren't you the bossy one? answered Justin. By the way, that hat fits you just right. You look better in the shade. Ha ha ha. The truth is, you really are too bossy, said Tina. Delilah stopped from door to door, shouting, Look at this dump, it's a nightmare. Get your brooms and hoses and clean up this mess. But none of the alpha pets paid any attention to Delilah. No way, cried Nellie the naughty newt. Clean up this mess, clean up this mess, no way, no way, repeated Mommy, the mimicking mouse. Do you think the lot will get cleaned up? Let's turn the page and find out. Just then, Wendy, the wise woodchuck, came riding by on her bicycle. Hello, Delilah, said Wendy. That's an interesting hat you're wearing. Reminds me of a lamp I once had. What's wrong with everybody, asked Delilah, taking the lampshade off her head. Why won't they do what I tell them? Maybe it's the way you tell them, said Wendy. Remember, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Delilah went back across the street and picked up her notepads. Then she sat down and thought about what Wendy said. Maybe Wendy's right, she said to herself. I'll try my very best to ask them nicely. I'll do anything to clean up that dump. Do you think she will remember to ask nicely to clean up the dump? Let's find out. Soon afterwards, Vinny, the vocal vulture, came over to see what was happening. Delilah smiled her very best smile. She said, Vinny, dear, would you help me clean up this dirty, dirty dump? Think how beautiful our town would be if everything were neat and clean. Well, 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 said Vinny, stepping up on a crate. It would be an honor and a pleasure to help you out, Miss Delilah, and a great opportunity. Yes, a great opportunity indeed. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand, no, a million times. That's right, a million times. This vacant lot should be cleaned up. And it should be cleaned up by the best and the brightest citizens of Alpha Pet Corners. Gather round, everybody. I say, gather round. Are you all with me? Yes, yes, the Alpha Pet shouted. 
Let's start right now, cried Ivy, the impatient iguana. I'll get my dump truck, said Rupert, the resourceful rhinoceros. Looks like they're going to come together to help clean up the lot. What do you think? So everybody rolled up their sleeves and got busy. Tina and Justin collected all the bottles and cans. Ivy helped Rupert load his dump truck. Sylvester and Vinny fixed the fence. Nellie swept the litter. And Monty raked the leaves. They're all helping now, aren't they? And you know why, don't you? Delilah asked nicely. The Alpha Pets worked so hard that drops of perspiration began to trickle down their cheeks. Hurry up, hurry up! There's still a lot to be done, shouted Delilah. You're not working fast enough. When they heard Delilah's demands, the Alpha Pets stopped working. Rupert stopped his truck. Sylvester and Vinny put down their hammers. Nellie dropped her broom. And Monty dropped his rake. Hey, Delilah, don't be such a fussy. Flossy, said Nellie. We're doing the best we can. Oh, I guess I forgot, said Delilah. I'm sorry. You're all doing a great job. Do you all ever tell anyone when they do a great job? Soon the lot was all neat and clean. Delilah looked around and said, This looks great. Wouldn't it be dreamy if we had a little park or playground here? Hmm, said Rupert. I have an idea. Delilah, suppose you go home and don't come back until we call you. But, but, sputtered Delilah. I didn't mean. Never mind, said Rupert. For once, do what we tell you to do. As soon as Delilah left, the Alpha Pets huddled around Rupert and he told them his idea. Buzz, 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 he whispered. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Hooray, everyone shouted. This will be fun. So everyone had a new job to do. Vinny made a tire swing and hung it from a tree. Nina, Tina, nailed a plank to a broken barrel to make a seesaw. Nellie and Justin tied an old basket to the fence post, while Sylvester and Monty arranged planks on the ground. Rupert stacked some bricks and laid a door across them to make a table. And Ivy planted daisies, delilahs, and delphiniums. Like magic, the empty lot became a beautiful playground. Tina ran home to get her radio and called Delilah. Soon Delilah returned carrying a tray with a big white doily spread on it. It was piled high with dozens of double dip donuts and glasses of delicious cold drinks. Delilah looked around and said, Oh my goodness, this is the dreamiest park in the whole wide world. Now don't anyone dare make a move, she demanded. I insist that you all sit down while I serve these delicious delicacies. Looks like they're all having fun. Then he stood up and raised his glass. Well, I declare, he said with a broad smile, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I must say, I do say, I insist on saying, yes, I insist on saying, that that is the most delightful demand Delilah has ever delivered. Delilah has inspired us all to turn a nasty nightmare into a delectable dream. I hereby propose that we dedicate this playground to Delilah the Duck and name this park Delilah's Dream. All the alpha pets clapped and cheered. Then Tina turned on the music and everyone danced and danced. While she was dancing, Delia saw Wendy standing at the entrance of the park. Delia ran over to her. Don't stand there. You have to come dance, Wendy, Delia demanded. Then she remembered a smile. Uh, that is, please come in and dance. That's a honey of an idea, said Wendy. A delightful idea, agreed Delia.
Now these are words that start with the letter D. You definitely must learn these delightful words with me, please. Doll, dishes, doily, door, daisy, donut, dog, dartboard. And we spell doll, D-O-L-L. -L. Dishes, D-I-S-H-E-S. -S. Doily, D-O-I-L-Y. Door, D-O-O-R. Daisy, D-A-I-S-Y. Donut, D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T. Dog, D-O-G. Dartboard is D-A-R-T, B-O-A-R-D. Now I'm going to use these words in the sentences. My doll has curly hair. I washed the dishes for mommy. I laid a doorway under the lamp. I went through the door to school. I picked a daisy in the yard today. I am going to eat a donut. My dog as spots. I threw a dart at the dartboard. Now if you look back at the pictures in this book, we can try and find these and other things that begin with the letter D. Does anybody know what color daisies usually are? You see a daisy here. Now, do we all know our alphabet? Say it with me. A, B, e, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That's it for today, boys and girls. I want you to stay safe and have a great day. Bye now.